Uh, what do you say to a person who um, says, I just don't have the time, number one. Number two, um, whether it's lockdowns and the gym closures or I can't get to a gym. What, what do okay. I need to do? So I don't have time. I don't have equipment. Okay. You don't have time. You know, that's a mindset. That, that's totally a mindset. And I, and I get it. You've got 30 seconds. And I'll tell you this. One of my most successful clients ever, she started out 30 seconds a day. That's it. That's all she did. A year later, she's down about 45 pounds. Amazing. Now, did she do 30 seconds every day? No, but she did 30 seconds every day for a couple of weeks. Then that changed into a minute. Then it changed into two minutes and it kept increasing because she kept finding the time. You've got the time. We just need to shift your mind and it's okay. Let's start out small. It's all right. Um, now, if you don't have equipment, that's okay. There's a lot of people that can build a killer body with body weight, yep. with bands. You can get a milk jug. You can get some cans. Maybe, maybe you got a can of beans. Use that. Yep. One of the things that I, I, I do with some of my parents that I work <laughs> with, I'll have them grab their child. We've got to pick them up anyway. Let's pick them up and, and, and use them. So no equipment, not not an excuse anymore. There's so many different ways we can move our body without any equipment at all or very, very minimal equipment. 20 bucks on Amazon, you've got a set of bands that, that'll get the job done. Got it. Well, the, I think the conception is you've got to put in your 30 minutes to get proper benefits from it. But the fact is, if I were to ask for, hey, listen, I've got five minutes. What are the two or three key exercises I can do with no equipment? for the course of five minutes to get a wicked workout, what do I need to do? Do staples, staples, body weight squats, yep. wall push-ups, countertop push-ups. You can go to push-ups on the floor if you want to. Those are two absolute staples. We all need to squat in, in some capacity because we're all sitting down. We're all, we have to get on the toilet in and out of a car. Yep. That's an easy one, right? You can vary the depth that you go to make it, make it a little comfortable, but a little challenging at the same time. Yeah. Wall push-ups, countertop push-ups. I think those are a fantastic exercise for your upper body, but instead of getting on your knees, maybe, maybe it's going to hurt your knees to be on your knees on the ground. Raise that rate, raise, get off the ground a little bit, put your hands on a countertop, stabilize your midsection, let your whole body work. That's a great way. Five minutes, you've got a, a full body exercise, really, with those two movements. Yeah, beautiful. And five minutes, you're talking continuous, very little uh, rest in between. Yeah, or, you know, and, and again, when we're talking about this, right, you know, you're not going to lose 100 pounds in a day, right? I, I don't think Arnold built his body in a day. I didn't. Tom, you didn't, it took time, right? It took that consistency. So yeah, we want to get to the 30 minutes. We want to get there. But if you've got 30 seconds to five minutes, do what you can, but just be consistent with it. Do something every day. And then yeah, five minutes is going to be easy in a couple of weeks. And you can do that continually. But yeah, absolutely. 